All right, so we're going to do a little uh, post-isometric relaxation technique on the upper trapezius. Specifically, we're going to do Kristen's left side. To do that, I need to bring her into full cervical flexion, okay? This is one thing I'm going to need you to remember. It's full cervical flexion, lateral flexion away from the side we're doing PIR, and rotation towards. Notice that I've maintained that full cervical flexion the whole time. I'm going to take a generalized contact on her shoulder region, so chromioclavicular articulation, glenohumeral joint, and I'm just going to take the slack out gently. Now for us to do post-isometric relaxation, I'm going to need her to gently shoulder shrug. 25% effort. We're going to have her hold that 4 to 10 seconds, and then we're going to ask her to relax. When she relaxes, we find that new end range. And then what we can ask her to do is shoulder shrug again, 25% effort, 4 to 10 seconds, and then she relaxes. Okay. Remember to maintain that full cervical flexion the whole time. This was post-isometric relaxation technique of the upper trapezius.